Please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications on all so you can see all my future content. I do not own King of Star. Please support the official release. Standing 180 centimeters and weighing 75 kilograms. Two wins and no losses in the Kengen tournament. His estimated winnings, 25 billion, 72 million yen for his sponsors, who happen to be the Koho Education Group. It's the beautiful beast, Setsuna Kiryu! in the week. This legendary man only has time to fight giants. He's the bearded god who has dedicated himself to mastering the deadly methods of Killer Tenpo. Coming in at 185 centimeters tall and weighing 96 kilograms, he's had one win and zero losses in the Kengen tournament. Motorhead Motors sponsors this bear, the Devil Lance. I remember Kuroki. Pretty sure he practices Kaiwan style. Can't wait. Listen, kid. You use the solitary shadow style, right? I'd recognize that anywhere. That move you used, it was originated by my friend who was known as Genzin Taira. I received word after his death that Genzin was murdered by one of his students. Tell me, are you the one who murdered him? Huh? And who the hell are you? I'm in a bad mood, so just answer the question. I'll make you pay for what you've done, and you're gonna start right now. The first round gave us a taste of exactly how powerful these fighters are. Is the beast going to be down by the lance, or will the lance be snapped in half by the beast? Now, let's find out! Begin! Kuroki begins the match by quickly taking a cat stance. How is Kiryu going to respond? I can't wait! blind spot. It requires your opponent to believe you've disappeared, which the fighter accomplishes by sinking their movements to the viewer's blinking eyes. This move has appeared in echoes across many martial arts styles, including karate. I'm quite familiar with your trick. It won't work on me. The solitary shadow style doesn't have a history. What are you saying? Solitary Shadow Style has been around for more than 400 years. Well, if you go by the date, sure. But in reality, most of the followers were killed in the war we had just ended. And their techniques were largely killed off with them. I'm a descendant of the head of that style. I've searched for ancient manuscripts to try to reconstruct some of his techniques. Unfortunately, I've only succeeded on a few of them. Indeed, and I'm sure time has forced any surviving techniques to evolve into something different as well. But I believe that at least one of them has remained the same. 
According to my research, only two techniques are still known to exist in the modern era. One of them is a stepping technique that is referred to as blink. The other is a twisting punch known by many as Rakshasa's palm. You really want to say this to someone you might end up facing? Humility doesn't suit you. I've already determined that if I should ever try to use Rakshasa's palm on you, that it won't work. And I don't think Blink would do any good either. We may only have two moves now, but I'm going to incorporate them into a new style. I took a new kid under my wing recently. He's got talent. And I'm not just saying that. I'd feel bad if I only had two moves that I could teach him. Trust me, you'll be hearing about Solitary Shadow Style again. Gensen, you were foolish to pick this child as your pupil. I'll kill you. You're dead. I'll kill you. to watch out for Rakshasa's palm. This modified version has more twisting of the wrist than the original from Genshin. This has made it far more lethal to deal with. If I don't block it just the right way, the consequences may be fatal. Kiryu, barrage of attacks from all sides! It looks like Kuroki needs to go on the defense! version of Rakshasa's palm you've created has larger motions than the original. This makes it more damaging, but easier to predict. You're not able to fully capitalize on the effectiveness of the move unless you also pair it with Blink. But I can see through that party trick, so you're gonna have to try harder than that if you want to surpass me. <laughs> used it before well now you've gone and piqued my curiosity kid who taught you the move you just used against me his style is different now Shasta's palm. He adapted Rakshasa's palm to be used with his feet, and then distracted me with it to use Blink, all in a fighting stance that's similar to Nico's style. He's even more intuitive than Genzu was. I can feel that I'm starting to hit deeper. Niko Tokita, 
I'm going to kill you. I'm going to get my god back from you. This young man. <laughs> He's good. But what this young man gained in proficiency all came at the cost of his sanity. He could never allow himself to be human again. I pity you, poor crazy bastard. I'll put you out of your misery. Kuroki had renewed vigor to avenge his friend, and Setsuna had completed his barbarous transformation. Our ending crawls ever closer. The Devil Lance versus Rakshasa's Palm. Will the Lance pierce or the Palm break? Setsuna shifts positions at high speed by performing Rakshasa's Palm with his feet. This match is the first time Setsuna has attempted this technique. He's taken a lot of time to perfect his movements. However, Kuroki is the fighter with a clear lead. The spear has finally penetrated through the spiral. He stabbed me before I was able to twist my palm. That was incredible. Oh, my fingers. Setsuna used Rakshasa's palm to crack the ground, causing Kuroki to lose his balance. He struck back in the chest and solar plexus. Too shallow. <laughs> Kuroki said something was amiss, and decided to wait. His intuition was sharp. Setsuna was mad, driven there by a single purpose. Was it to defeat Kuroki? No. Perhaps his vision of Nico? No. Setsuna's only desire was to help restore Oma to his once former glory. Kiryu's got a serious injury to his right hand, and that is gonna affect Rakshasa's palm. But on the other side, Kuroki's got a nasty break to even them out. This fight is reaching its exciting conclusion. Play time is over, folks. The one that can keep those punches rolling is the winner. Whoa, there! Look at Kiryu go! He's performing Rakshasa's palm with his feet in order to confuse his enemies. Impressive, Gensai Kuroki. You've already seen right through it. He changed up the pattern. Not overestimate Gensai Kuroki's ability to predict his opponent. Kiryu inflicted severe injury to Kuroki's right hand. After that, Kuroki started favoring his left hand to attack. Kiryu started focusing exclusively on Kuroki's right hand. Feeling that Kuroki's right hand was too injured to be of any more use in the match, Kiryu started to let his guard down, which left Kuroki with an opening he could take advantage of. Even though Kuroki's gamble had a high chance of success, it still was not guaranteed. Setsuna managed to force a capable fighter like Kuroki into taking a massive risk. However, Setsuna Kiryu is quite capable in his own right. I bet you were hoping that I had given up on this right hand. Very foolish of you. The power sent through the user's back, shoulders, and upper arms is amplified by a twisting of the forearm for Rakshasa's palm. 
This attack mutates the momentum into a powerful twisting force. Using the attack at close range deadens the effect of the blow because it limits the user's twist of their wrist. Uh, hang on. If that won't work, then maybe this will. He focused his power into his fingertips. Setsuna Kiryu, finding himself backed into a tight corner, creates the true Rakshasa's palm attack. It worked. He stopped it right away. This is just some kind of a test, isn't it, Omatokita? I understand. I can live through anything. Kiryu! How foolish of you. You should have known better than to try such superficial attacks on me. The winner! Kodoki! Moving on! <laughs> you can apologize to Genzai when you find him in hell. Watching you out there was so amazing. I don't think I've ever been so impressed by anyone before. Kind of surprised at myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how did you get so good? Is it the way that you train? How long did it take? Because uh, your style is totally different from the type of karate I know. Hudoki. Huh? I can't say I understand this at all. How in the hell did that kid survive the hit you just landed, huh? Hmm. Ichiro. Huh? Do you know why? Of course! The moment he knew he was going to get stabbed by the Demon Lance, Setsuna used Rakshasa's palm on his own heart. He held back so it would only shift the position of his heart instead of destroying it. That's what let him barely avoid getting hit by the Lance. So, am I close, Master? Look, I'm not picking on students. But you're right, more or less. Nice going. You're way more observant than you look, Ichido. Sure is a mighty shame, Kuroki. You were aiming to avenge your friend's death in that fight, weren't you? I'm relieved, to be honest. Genzin cared so much about his students, more than I did. It's complicated. Setsuna may have had a part in Genzin's death, but I didn't want to kill his student. Hmm, I see. So hey, Master! How are you holding up with your injuries? I told you I'm not your master. Don't interrupt me again. Kaiwan style leaves no room for weakness. Even if our limbs were missing, we would have to find a way to train through that pain. Breaking my fingers was not the handicap he planned on. Okay, how about your shoulder? You aren't observant enough. Huh? I used the demon lance to stab through his right hand. Since the surface of his palm was compromised, his power was reduced. I didn't get away unscathed, but I'm not in bad enough shape to step down. How the hell did he see all that coming? <laughs> well, how about that, Ichido? Your master's one hell of a guy, isn't he? Yeah! I told you I won't be your master. Ichiro, you do not have the experience that you need. If you want to keep getting better, then just focus on watching for now. I don't take students. But I suggest that you stay here and watch every match that you can. Sweet! Before you click on one of these other awesome video tasks, please pause the video. Consider buying some cool Baki merch at a discount rate using promo code SOSA to support this channel. Smash like, leave a comment, and support the messed up YouTube background. Then share this around there, better that you know. And follow me on all my social media platforms like Facebook, Rumble, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, BitChute, Aussie. Links to that in the description and first comment. Let's go, Brandon! Let's go, Brandon!